According to the U.S. Coast Guard, search and rescue teams operating an underwater vehicle remotely made a significant discovery near the Titanic wreckage while searching for a missing tourist submersible. On Thursday, the estimated deadline for when the submersible's five passengers may have depleted their oxygen supply, the Coast Guard reported the finding of a debris field within the designated search area. Expert evaluators within the Unified Command are currently assessing the information obtained from the debris field, as stated in a tweet by the Coast Guard. The debris field was located by an ROV, remotely operated vehicle, affiliated with the Canadian vessel Horizon Arctic, which had reached the ocean floor and commenced search operations early Thursday. The Coast Guard plans to conduct a press conference at 3 p.m. Eastern Time to provide further updates on this development. The search and rescue operation, which has garnered international attention, involves personnel from the United States, Canada, France, and the United Kingdom. Additionally, another ROV, associated with the French vessel La Talente, was deployed on Thursday, according to the Coast Guard. The search efforts have intensified due to an updated prediction by the Coast Guard, indicating that the Titan submersible likely exhausted its oxygen supply around 7 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. The submersible initially carried 96 hours of oxygen for its five-person crew. However, experts emphasize that these estimates are not precise. Rear Admiral John Mauger of the U.S. Coast Guard emphasized the importance of considering people's will to live and expressed the commitment to continue searching and executing rescue efforts by utilizing the new capabilities introduced that morning. The ROVs present at the scene have the capacity to attach rescue lines, and personnel with deep-sea medical expertise are being deployed to the area. Rear Admiral Mauger noted that teams had been working tirelessly throughout the night and would continue their search efforts throughout the day. The Titan submersible, measuring 22 feet in length, lost contact with its support ship on Sunday while conducting a dive to the Titanic site. The submersible was carrying a British explorer, a father and son from a prominent Pakistani business family, a French Titanic expert, and the CEO of OceanGate, the Washington state-based company that operates the vessel. The rescue crews faced challenging conditions on Thursday, including wind gusts up to 19 miles per hour, ocean swells reaching up to 5 feet, and an air temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, according to the Coast Guard. The U.S. Navy announced that a specialized deep-water salvage system capable of hoisting weights up to 60,000 pounds had arrived in St. John's, Canada, on Wednesday afternoon. While it may take another 24 hours before it is ready for use, this system could potentially be employed to raise the Titan submersible to the surface. The Titan, according to information from the OceanGate website, weighs 23,000 pounds. It is worth noting that previous letters filed by OceanGate with the U.S. District Court in Virginia indicated that the submersible had encountered battery issues during its first dive to the Titanic wreck site in 2021. As a result, manual attachment to its lifting platform was necessary, causing minor external damage due to adverse sea conditions. Consequently, the second mission was cancelled for repairs and operational enhancements. Despite such challenges, the submersible successfully transported at least 46 individuals to the Titanic wreck site in 2021 and 2022, as mentioned in the company's letters. Arthur Loebel, a retired businessman from Germany, shared his experience of diving to the site two years ago, describing the confined conditions inside the submersible. He mentioned the lack of standing or kneeling space, with passengers sitting in close proximity to one another or on top of each other. During the 2.5-hour descent and ascent, the lights were turned off to conserve energy, and the only source of illumination was a fluorescent glow stick. The dive was frequently delayed due to battery and balancing weight issues, resulting in a total voyage time of 10.5 hours, according to Loebel's account. In conclusion, the search and rescue mission near the Titanic for the missing tourist submersible has taken a significant turn with the discovery of a debris field. The international efforts of search and rescue teams, including the use of remotely operated vehicles, highlight the urgency and dedication to finding the submersible and its passengers. As the situation unfolds, updates from the Coast Guard and the deployment of specialized equipment offer hope for a successful rescue operation. If you found this information helpful and would like to stay informed about ongoing developments, 
please consider liking this post and subscribing to our channel for future updates. Your support encourages us to continue providing timely news and updates on significant events.